This video is going to begin to deal with the canon of arrangement. We've already dealt with a few of the canons. We've dealt with delivery, and we've dealt with invention. Now we're going to, ta to start talking about arrangement. Arrangement has to do with the order in which one puts their speech. And in order to do that, I'm going to use three videos. We're going to do three videos talking about arrangement. In the first one, I'm going to talk about arrangement in its simplest form. Uh, in the second one, I'm going to talk about arrangement in a popular form that you'll see right now. Sometimes uh, in infomercials, I'll use it once in a while in these in these videos. And then finally, we're going to talk about arrangement in its classical form, uh, the very best I think type of arrangement you can have most of the time. But we want to start out by talking about arrangement in its simplest form. And at its simplest. Uh, arrangement is an introduction, a body, and a conclusion. When I see somebody who uses just a simple intro, body, conclusion, form of arrangement, I always say they are using the simple speech. So we'll call this method the simple speech method. You start out with an introduction. Remember back when we when we did our research and we developed our points and then we we figured out logically how to put them together into a syllogism. Well, now we're going to take it to the next level. We're going to take that syllogism apart, and those are going to be the the different points of the syllogism. You know, because 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 therefore, the different points of the syllogism will become the points of our speech. So we outline them all out. So that the points of the syllogism become the points of our speech. And though that is the body, along with all of the examples that we're going to use from research, all of the uh, emotional stories, all of that fits into the body. In the introduction, you preview what's going to go into the body. And in the conclusion, you review. You've probably heard it said that you are going, you should. Tell them what you're going to tell them, then you tell them, and then you tell them what you told them. This is the most basic form of arrangement. It's simple. It's easy. Generally, your audience will remember what you're talking about because you tell, told them three times because you told them what you were going to tell them, then you told them, then you tell them what you told them. It, it, it's good for that. There's repetition built right into it. You know, all of that. This is good stuff. So it's okay to use this simple speech. Now, honestly, this video is probably the shortest video in our system. It's the shortest video because the simple speech is simple. Tell them what you're going to tell them. Tell them what you what you then you tell them then you tell them what you told them. You just repeat it over and over again. And that is the simple speech. And at base, that's what all arrangement is. In our next two videos, we're going to talk about a couple of more complicated forms of arrangement, uh, other ways of putting together your speech that are probably better in a lot of ways. But I don't want you to just throw the simple speech away because I say these other two are better. The simple speech is something I pull out all the time. I use it any time when you have like just a few minutes to come up with your presentation. The simple speech is a great way to go. So I'm looking forward to it. We're going we're gonna to look at two, two more videos. Videos. We're going to have our video on arrangement uh, where we're going to talk about uh, a newer form and then we're going to talk about the classical form.